Ben Wright site prep here, retaining wall for Irving Park Road. This is the barricade from the new Irving Park Road to the airport. The wall is 3,000 feet long, and 1,500 feet of it is 22 feet 4 inches, and the rest is between 13 and 10 feet. Uh, the gang form system from Messina. On the tall wall, we're doing a two-day cycle. And on the shorter wall, we're doing a one-day cycle. On the taller wall, we form it one day and, and finish forming it the next morning and then pour it on the same day. And then on the shorter wall, we're stripping it that morning, framing it, and pouring it the same day. Well, you could stick frame it, and it take twice as long. But with, with the liner, with the exposed concrete, you have to gang form and put a polyurethane liner on the outside. That gives you the texture. There's form release on it that we spray on the, on the liner. That helps us, you know, it helps the concrete flow better and the air bubbles flow better so you get a better finish. You get that exposed concrete out there like that on it with the, with the stone look, this is pretty much what you have to use. This side is the dirt side. You're not gonna, it's not exposed. The other side is exposed. It's in the spec that over here that we have to pour a mock-up for the wall. The mix that we had original wasn't really, in my eyes, wasn't really set up for an exposed wall. And when we poured the mock-up, we had a lot of air pockets in the surface of the wall. Prairie and concrete structures decided we're going to take 200 pounds of stone out, put 200 pounds of sand back in, and then reduce the air pockets to like 90% of not even having them anymore. More cement and sand hit the surface of the form, which allowed the air pockets to release better. The QC from Prairie are a big part of helping us get the right cement ratio and stone ratio for the wall. Good. And everything's working fine right now. Very made sure they went out of their way to make factory structures and O'Hare 100% happy.